you know, people will collect almost anything. If it's available for purchase, they're going to grab it. Now, in hockey, that usually means autographs, pucks, or jerseys. But for Penguins equipment manager Dana Heinze, he goes after something much more unique and more difficult to attain. Equipment manager Dana Heinze had a vision, and initially, it was somewhat dark. For the longest time, uh, I wanted a Jim Craig uh, goalie mask. And uh, I was online researching it, and would look around and see what I could find, and uh, I found a website. A site that remembers the days when goalies first began wearing masks. Enter Thomas Connaughton of THCVintageMask.com, who has found a way to bring them back to life. We try and give a client a mask that would have been made back in the 60s or 70s or 80s. That's our focus. Connaughton is a former goalie and was disappointed when he could not find a decent replica of a mask he wanted for his own collection. So in 2005, he decided to go to work. All selfless, all through a process of art in school. Uh, you know, hey, we had art in school, uh, friends in fiberglassing, in my history, um, may have been a goaltender, uh, but uh, I didn't like what we were buying, so we had to make our own. And this is Hank Basson's mask. Hank Basson was the first goalie to ever, to ever wear a mask gave to the Pittsburgh Penguins. It's hard to tell the replica from the original. Just ask Hall of Famer Marcel Dion, who actually thought a Billy Smith mask that Thomas created was the real thing. Each mask takes about 24 hours to complete and can range in price from $250 to $3,000. A bargain for actor Ben Affleck, who came across Connaughton's site and became a happy customer, as seen in the movie, The Town. We start from this, go to this, go to that, go to this. We do all the cutting, all the painting, all the finishing. And my wife, Kathy, makes all the straps. Full family business. This business is not run by Thomas alone. His wife, Kathy, and son, Josh, play a role as well. Heinze was so impressed with their work, he decided to take his idea a step further. Actually, several steps further. I'm only trying to collect uh, the old style fiberglass vintage goal masks from the Penguins, uh, pretty much from the first year, 1967, up until about Michelle Dion, uh, 1985. Denny Heron, Jim Rutherford, Bob Johnson, Hank Basson. Only recreating over 20 masks worn by former Penguin goaltenders is no easy task. That's where Dana's connections in hockey and detective skills came into play. You would think that there's a lot of stuff out there from 1967 to 1985 as far as photographs and, and things like that, but there's really hardly any video and photographs. I'd be home on a Sunday and I'd be getting 60, 70 emails from Sherlock with pictures after picture after picture after picture, right? And you know what? Hey, without those pictures, right? And without the information, there is no way that this mask would be anywhere near as close as it is. Les Binkley, Al Smith, Roy Edwards. The results are literally a work of art and help answer many questions Dana had about their design. And I talked to Dennis and I asked him about that and I said, you know, is that, was that, were you trying to pay tribute to, uh, you know, the Civic Arena? And uh, he kind of looked at me and was like, no, he's like, I was just sitting around bored one afternoon and I took a Sharpie and I, I just kind of connected the dots. And I'm like, wow, just connecting the dots. I mean, this mask to me, it looks like, looks like the Civic Arena. This is Gary Edwards. It's just a different version of uh, Gary Innes. Michelle Dion. Their work is almost complete. Three more masks, and Dana can proudly display these in the team's equipment room for all to enjoy. A vision that will no longer be dark. It's just a little bit of uh, paying tribute to the old time Penguin goalies. Um, everyone looks at these vintage masks and, and you know, it, it, what a story they, they can bring out. And uh, they're fun to talk about. It's been a fun project.